Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world watching this. This is the China Weekly Hangout uh, today about the, what you can to do to prepare for the chicken flu. And he's already uh, next to me sitting uh, one of the guests who is not online, but physically here in the, uh, in the, in the, in the premises of the China Weekly Hangout, uh, Harm Kiesebrink. He's an emergency response uh, specialist and, uh, on bird flu, and we've had him as a guest uh, uh, last year when the bird flu was hitting China. And we try to uh, uh, talk now about um, what uh, companies and organizations can do to, uh, to um, uh, join the, uh, uh, to prepare themselves for another bout of uh, uh, bird flu. We had already two cases. and. Uh, just before we start, I see some people are trying to get in. Um, I've invited uh, uh, a lot of people. We'll invite them again. Um, because the nice thing is, is that you can ask your own questions. You can do so by uh, uh, just pinging me and, and, and joining here uh, online. You can also uh, watch if all is well. You see at the lower third a uh, yellow bar allowing you to ask questions. And uh, you can use that. We see it on the blue screen, and we can answer your questions. And, and Harm is going to uh, focus on a few specific industries. But you can decide on what industries we should uh, focus on. Now, let's see. Um, next week, we plan to do a session on corruption in China. It's already on the agenda for a long time. And uh, uh, Xi Jinping is, uh, is uh, running around like uh, crazy to, uh, to uh, get people uh, in. In, uh, in, in jail. Um, I see Sean. Sean Zhu is trying to get in. Um, and Sean, and Sean you should see the icon in this mailbox. You cannot can start, start your own. Uh, 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 um, um, next week, corruption. And, uh, and what you're going, you're going to do is. is um, um, uh, we're still, still looking for guests to, to, to join us here. Um, I am also activated this, uh, this second, second computer, computer and we, we will uh, use that for a series so here so we can actually get, get also some, some information of Google Maps and others that is going to appear here. here. Um, I will um, try to invite a few more people because the, I get all kinds of pings here. Suggesting that people are eagerly waiting to uh, to join here, and um, so don't miss that opportunity, of course. Um, okay, if that, this doesn't work, Sean, um, it's a pity. So what we want to do is uh, maybe we can start uh, there and uh, give a bit of an overview of what is the uh, the situation now in China. We had um, a bit of a panic last year. And, and you told me that in November, uh, the most, like, most likely the, uh, the bird flu is going to hit China again. But what's the situation now? Uh, good morning or good afternoon. Um, yeah, the situation is that what was expected, uh, that the virus is uh, going to, uh, came back uh, this week. There were two cases of uh, AI. Uh, or people who got infected with uh, with with uh, H seven and nine, uh, that was uh, uh, south, a little south of uh, Shanghai in uh, Zhejiang. And um, yeah, it is as expected when the season uh, change and the weather is getting colder. That uh, that's the natural period of time that the uh, virus is, uh, starts to emerge, and uh, this is what happened in, in China. Uh, actually, it was expected to, to come back. Come back. Uh, it has been, it has been uh, probably changed, uh, changed uh, during the past during the past six months, four to six months. Um, the virus, um, the virus, the virus, uh, the virus probably, has, uh, changed. probably have uh, changed. And, uh, basically, and we are still basically, there. we are still there. Where we were in, uh, we April, were in uh, April, the, the, the larger, the larger outbreak of uh, AI. AI. And uh, that people, that don't, people know don't know where it's coming, coming from. 
But the, the, but the, 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 the point is, at, at this stage, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't seem to be that much, that much happening. happening. And people and ask, people ask me also why it is now, why there is no panic, no panic or there might not even become a panic. panic. What, what, what are the different scenarios, scenarios we should take into account? Well, well uh, let me start let me saying start this, that uh, if there is not a panic situation, it's the ideal moment to start to prepare yourself in case there would be an outbreak. And uh, yes, there's, there's, there's no uh, reason for any panic, uh, but it is a reason to, uh, to ask yourself uh, what if this is going to happen and what if this is going to be uh, a next uh, outbreak. Uh, and uh, yeah, given the situation as it is, where we don't know where the virus is coming from, uh, it's uh, very difficult to create uh, an antivirus or a vaccine, as long as you don't know where it's coming from and you don't know how it is spreading. So that's they, these are issues that should be addressed in the period uh, when there is no outbreak. Uh, what to do uh, and how to prepare yourself in case that there would come or it would become uh, a, a problem in large cities, for instance. Okay, Harm, we're maybe going to focus on what companies and organizations can do, but maybe we should also address a little bit the uh, government. We have been advising 45 countries on, on, on how to deal with all these, uh, these outbreaks. Do you think China is well enough prepared for a new outbreak? I think that uh, China is one of the best uh, well-prepared countries in the world uh, together uh, with some other areas where there is a specific focus on uh, emergency uh, situations. Uh, China is one of the largest, one of the largest countries, countries in the world with the highest population, with the, the highest high number numbers of animals, animals and, and where migrating passes uh, come together uh, globally. So, so uh, China, China is well aware of that situation, situation. Uh, so, so the, uh, the, 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 the Chinese, Chinese government uh, has been preparing uh, at, at least, least after the SARS outbreak, uh, I think that was 10 years ago, and they know what to do. Uh, the, the, the issue is that uh, in the public opinion, if there is no outbreak, People don't want, don't tend to talk about situations like emergency response, and that's the same with companies. Uh, it's not so likely that it will happen. But what, what is the scenario if if it if it does happen? Uh, look ten years uh, back and see what happened when uh, the world was uh, was faced with uh, with SARS. Uh, that had quite some substantial reactions, uh, panic reactions, uh, that could have been avoided. And I think uh, one of the lessons of, of that period is that you should consider uh, uh, what, what a company, what you as a person, as a family, would do in case there uh, it would re-emerge and become a, a similar problem as, as in the period uh, 10 years ago with SARS. Okay, well, maybe to, to keep it very basic in the start, before we dive into industry, we, uh, we intend to uh, address the tourism industry. I know that quite some people watching here are at uh, Chinese universities, so we will see what we can uh, advise them to do. But just for your family, what can you do to protect yourself against getting, uh, getting this virus? Yes, let, let me first say that um, the, the critical area uh, personal area um, is this area that's the, the, the circle around your no nose and your mouth and your eyes. This area is uh, where a virus can enter your body. And uh, so that means that you have to protect uh, this area, the area of your face. Um, you can do that by. You mean these cute, nice. Uh, masks that people were wearing when they have a cold or that kind of stuff? Uh, maybe um, a mask is uh, something else as a respirator, but let me say it like this. It is basic hygiene uh, that needs to be addressed. Uh, you need to wash your hands and you have to avoid uh, touching your face with your hands because a virus is, on, on is uh, something, uh, something that, that sticks, sticks on the surface. surface. 
And, and with your with hands, your hands you, can you can drag it, drag it into, into this area. area. So, so uh, one, of one of the standard, standard things, things is uh, what, what you should do is wash your hands, hands at least at the moment that you enter uh, the house. And that's also what you can learn your kids. kids. Uh, to, uh, wash to wash your hands, hands at the moment, at the moment that you can enter, enter an area. area. Uh, the reason uh, why, why is that, is that uh, when you're in, you're in the middle of the street, street you're not likely to poke your nose or to touch your uh, face with your with your hands. But, but at, at the, the moment, moment that you're in the privacy of a house, uh, you tend to do that. So it is a good thing to to have as a as a golden rule if you rule if you enter an area. Uh, to, uh, to, to wash your hands, hands before you uh, just after you enter it. And like we discussed a short time before, not going out is of course the best uh, uh, way to uh, to go with it. Yes, in case there would be an outbreak or the, the, the risk would be uh, substantial, uh, it's important that you have you avoid avoid coming in contact, in contact with, with animals. animals. Uh, that's that's first. first. And animals is important. Animals, animals of course. This is H five N nine. It is a virus that, that is normally spread, spread by animals. animals. It's, it's a normally it's a low pathogen, so, so a low, low pathogen, pathogen virus. virus. So you don't, don't get, get sick from it. it. But in a way, that has transformed uh, into a high pathogen. So it is uh, an animal virus. So an animal avoid virus. So avoid touching and getting in contact with animals. And, with animals. and, and of course, and if you, of course, if you uh, reduce the contact, reduce with, other the contact people, with other people, if it's not necessary, if it's not necessary uh, uh, stay away from people. Stay away. It's, uh, it's also a way, uh, to, protect way to protect yourself. There are some places where it's not possible. Let's get some examples. If we were running a banking office, with a lot of traffic over the floor, what what can you do to protect your customers and you and you and your people to uh, uh, catching the flu? Well, then then basically what you're done when you're talking about my ear plug pulled out. I hope I can. I don't think we have any problems. No, all right. Basically, Basically, what what you're talking about is that you are going, going to apply uh, uh, now, now a kind, kind of analysis. analysis to situations, situations uh, that uh, are typical for uh, for, 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 for industries. Uh, let's take uh, uh, you have to you have, you have to make a, a kind of consideration. What what are, what are the risks uh, for for company? What are the risks for a bank? And how uh, how how based on that risk assessment? Uh, uh, how can you, you have to evaluate those risks and try to uh, come up with a plan uh, to to reduce uh, the, the chance of incident? So, if if and you advise to do people to do this now, well, then not wait no. until it's. Too I, I would say uh, that you have to uh, to to. Uh, to, to think about the risks. Uh, so, if you are a business, you have to do. You have to think about the continuity of your of your business in case there will be an outbreak. Uh, you have to do something about emergency response management and control. Uh, how will you manage your company if there is an outbreak? Uh, and the third is uh, how to, uh, uh, in medical terms, what can you do to uh, to protect yourself? Uh, what are the things that you have to have uh, in house? Um, uh, what what kind of prophylactics? Uh, do, it will be very difficult to, to to get prophylactics in case of an outbreak. So it's better to try to get uh, prophylactics like uh, timely flu uh, in periods of time that there is not an outbreak. So that, those kind of things you have to consider uh, for a business, but also for uh, uh, for a company. And uh, if you talk, talk about business continuity, uh, you have to consider, and that's for all the businesses, whether this is uh, 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 this is a bank or a school or travel uh, travel organization. Uh, you have to make an assessment uh, uh, of the situation, situation where 
where would where would be, like, where would like the uh, business risk. be uh, so at risk? Um, so if, um, if, if there's if, a lot of contact, uh, with, if, if there's a lot of contact, people with, coming uh, in and out, the, people coming in, uh, the, 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 the company, uh, you have to try uh, to, find to, to find the ways to avoid to, uh, 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 people uh, going to uh, going to the company in the first place. So, 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 give you give you give you give you give you have to advise people, to, advise people to, to, to refer to online, online banking, not coming up with cash anymore. Yes, yes. Uh, for instance, uh, you have to, to uh, if you're a bank, then uh, you have to make sure that people can reach you online. Um, that uh, the, the, the basic things as uh, uh, providing services, bank services, that that stays intact. Uh, but but uh, yeah, in case uh, that I'm coming on the on the on the second part of the emergency, the management and control. If there is a situation uh, that there is an outbreak, um, uh, you have your company must be able to follow up the risk analysis and say, okay, we are going to work as uh, much as possible online. We are trying to avoid people come to the office. So uh, what immediately, immediately questioned is, is uh, how well uh, are you uh, equipped with uh, sufficient uh, IT solutions for people to be able to work uh, from home and uh, to access uh, the files, which are uh, uh, which are the uh, you, you mean you need extra security in place? To you need to you need to check whether you have uh, sufficient security in place uh, for uh, for people to be able to work from home and do their work uh, what they would normally do on uh, the, the, at the office. Uh, the second thing is how how do you how um, how is the structure the, the management structure uh, organized of your organizations in terms of uh, task and responsibilities and what happens what if people are uh, not available to make the decision because they're sick. Uh, is there a plan B? Is there somebody who, for instance, if a document has to be signed, signed is, is there somebody else who has uh, the authority to sign uh, documents in, uh, uh, for, for people who are, who are not uh, at that spot? And then, uh, well, there's, there's one other issue that, that uh, we talked about in banks, but uh, getting money on them, is, although you can always also easily pay by mobile phone, uh, you still, still need these, these uh, especially in China, the physical money is very important. How do you get them? Well, well that, that is also an issue that, that, that um, if there, there would be a general problem that uh, people would avoid going outside um, and the services of uh, the bank are going to be reduced in general, uh, it will also mean that uh, uh, there will be less money going backwards and forwards to, uh, to uh, ATMs. So uh, it's good always to have uh, some kind of uh, basic amount available at the company, at, at home, that in case that the bank is not working and uh, there's no money in the ATM, which can, which can happen fairly quickly if people start to realize that cash is king, uh, that you have cash at home to, uh, if, if you need it for emergency situations. Well, but let's, is, is there any sense you can make out of the Previous uh, cases, like uh, for how long could you prepare yourself to stay in the house? In terms of forget food is of course also another issue. Uh, uh, how long do these outbreaks last in general? Well, let, let's say that uh, these general that these, if if it if it would be a similar situation to the SARS period, it can it can uh, disrupt business for uh, for a couple of months, maybe a, a year. And um, in, for that, uh, you have to have a plan, OK, what am I going to do for experts, for instance, and for students? Are, am I staying in, in uh, a location where there is a, a, an outbreak going on? Can I go home? Uh, 
um, if um, you, you would advise people to go home or uh, like, like go to their home countries expense I, I would uh, I would if I would be the advisor of a company I would say I would have a plan uh, to reduce the number of people who uh, I might be responsible for. So in that case, I would, uh, that is also what you saw with your own SARS, that families and children were sent home and that uh, uh, minimum staff stayed uh, at the location uh, to, uh, to, to provide the services needed. Uh, just also to prevent uh, any risks, uh, risks can come from all sides. If you have uh, a, children, a child at home who gets infected and uh, you are staying in the same home, uh, that's a risk as well. So uh, reducing the number of people in an area where uh, there is an outbreak is uh, one of the first things that, that I, uh, I would consider. Well, one of the, 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 the places I would, uh, would consider to where a lot of people meet each other are universities. So, um, what, what can universities do? To, you cannot. Uh, you should stop uh, giving classes. You should stop doing what? Yeah, I think that for uh, for universities, uh, something similar uh, happens as for companies. How can you reduce the human to human contact? And that can be by in when it is a very radical situation, you can close down the, uh, the uh, university, and uh, that might be part of the national preparedness plan to to shut down schools. Do you think China has such a plan in place? Uh, probably. Uh, you saw the same situation happened in America when there was the swine influenza, where also public places like schools were closed. So. Um, it's, it's about reducing the, the risk of infection and, and uh, 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 reducing the, the risk. Um, you can also, of course, you can, can have um, entrance uh, management to, to see that only those persons get into, uh, in, in, into a public place who actually have to be there. That, that means that you have to have a, a source of protocols in place, like hand washing protocols, like uh, entrance uh, uh, control over uh, with with uh, uh, written notifications and so on. Uh, so, so it means that you actually have to run your organization, your university, or whatever office you have, like a, a hospital. Actually, what you have to do is you have to consider how to reduce the risks of getting people who are in uh, at a location uh, to get infected. That means that, uh, yes, you have to have a, a thorough entrance control and you have to reduce, uh, you take away the source of people to travel. Uh, so uh, if people can work from home, uh, it's, that's the best, uh, the, the best option. Plan or what what follows after that? Uh, that's nice in theory. Let's say it is a, a nice guidance in, in general terms how to do that. But that has to be turned into standard procedures. Uh, that has to be turned into a planning for IT. That has to be uh, turned into a planning of. Uh, 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 redirecting uh, uh, the management. Uh, so what needs to be done, it has to be applied um, at that situation. So for school, it means that uh, you need to have, uh, for instance, a training for teachers, how to do it, what to do, uh, to recognize the signs uh, of the diseases, uh, uh, to, uh, to to they have the responsibility for the kids so or for for students so they have to take care that uh, uh, risk situations are are, are limited uh, that means that uh, the school might send away um, uh, some of the pupils who were when they think that they might have a flu or they might be sick. Okay, but, but the problem is, of course, if you have universities with people coming from far away in very large numbers, uh, would you advise we send them home or just contain them inside the university? Well, I'm, well, I'm, uh, I'm, not, I'm not the person to uh, 
to decide over that. But uh, it is quite likely. Uh, it is quite likely that decision, um, that decision uh, whether you like it or not, uh, whether you like it or not. Send them home. Or keep them, yes, uh, send them home and keep them shut down. Is is intended danger of spreading? Or is spreading to 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 the risk bigger, much bigger than than containing it inside a uh, university? Um, people have to sleep, so um, and, uh, the, the university is a location where they come from home to. to uh, to, to the school and uh, well, in China, China, China they also have the doors. Yes, yes, but I, I think if they would close, close down the uh, university, they would probably also close down the doors. Okay. It would be including, uh, it, it would reduce, uh, uh, that's likely what would happen, that happened also in, in the United States, that uh, people were at home, um, and whether they liked it or not. And yes, you can try to figure out if there would be a kind of online solution for, uh, for, for uh, to maintain classes. But that's something that you have to create in advance the possibility. And the technical uh, possibility for, uh, for schools, but also for students to, uh, to, to get in contact online. Well, let's, let's focus on another uh, industry that, that deals with a lot of uh, uh, people movements, like tourism. Well, probably when it is really a uh, pan pandemic, uh, people are not very eager to, uh, to go to restaurants. So the first reaction of people is to stay at home and not to go to restaurants. But are there any advices you can give uh, to the tourism industry to, to, to s how to survive this period? Um, well, uh, tourism, the tourism industry and also hotels and bars and etc. They are very vulnerable when it comes to panic. And uh, uh, for uh, at the moment that there is rumors going around or there is panic under the population, uh, and people will stop getting, uh, they will, will not go on holiday. That's one point. Uh, so it is very drastic uh, even to have rumors about an outbreak situation for the, for the travel industry. Uh, the other point is that uh, the, the traveling will be uh, purely for, uh, used for uh, repatriating people from the location where they work or where they lived to their homeland. And that can be in China and that can be also in uh, in uh, in, in uh, to Europe, and um, uh, if you go, if you if it uh, if, if it would come to uh, a large scale situation that there are a couple of numbers of people getting sick, then you can even consider that uh, hotels, hotels and dormitories uh, are going to be used to hospitalize people who are sick, or um, in case that uh, you have uh, one or two people sick at home, that the people who are not sick are going to a hotel or a, or a, a hospice uh, just to stay away from the people who are getting sick. So, so um, there is, uh, it's, it's not the tourism itself, that will probably uh, uh, crumble, but the facilities that are used for uh, during uh, 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 tourism, uh, like hotels, like hotels, like, uh, like uh, uh, trains, like trains, like trains, like trains uh, and, uh, and so on, will have, will have another, another, uh, another, uh, will get, will get another purpose or another task. Yeah, task. Yeah, yeah, I, guess, I guess that's keeping the trains rolling and all the other public transportation is pretty key. key. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, it will be, uh, in case there will be an outbreak, it's, outbreak, it's not, not only the uh, 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 say the, the transportation, the IT, the logistics in general, you can think what thing will happen, will happen if, uh, if uh, uh, garbage is not collected. That, uh, uh, so, so if there are there are a number, a number of critical, critical uh, issues, uh, issues that need to, to be addressed, and that's basically the task of, uh, of the government, of the government to take care of that, who has, 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 has a plan for that. 
And uh, uh, if you're if you're looking at this, this from, from let's say, let's say a more national national uh, uh, perspective, perspective uh, let's say, let's take uh, uh, the perspective of a large, a large company like uh, the, car, the car industry, like uh, BMW, BMW or Audi or or uh, Mercedes. Mercedes. Um, in in Europe, they are largely depending on the expanding market in China and what will happen to those companies and to the shares of those companies when, when there will be an outbreak and you have to start shutting down factories. And uh, that is something that is uh, that needs to be considered as well. There needs to be, it's the, 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 the effect of something like that is much larger than only shutting down an office. It's, uh, it influences the home office as well. Yeah, well, well there's, there's one industry, like uh, you can give uh, detailed uh, uh, advice on, on almost every industry, but one industry where I have my roots myself is the media industry. Like people have to know what is going on. Do you think the... Uh, uh, but in China you have a problem because most of the, uh, the expats might focus on uh, non-Chinese media. Because they cannot follow the Chinese media. What what kind of tools you need in place to inform people in a proper way? Well, um, uh, let's. I think you can consider uh, when it comes to the use of the media. Uh, the, the people who are working in the media are uh, having facing the same risks as everybody who is working in these areas. So also they would like to stay as much home as they can. So um, I think uh, what you see in areas where there is a war going on, or like in Syria, you see that uh, the other media than the, the newspapers and the, uh, um, and, and the normal footage on, uh, with high, high quality uh, uh, pictures and so on, that will um, be replaced by much more things that are going to be published online. And I think uh, so, so, so. People will get to uh, see more canned programs because they're staying at home. They're bored to hell, and uh, they, uh, they they need some uh, some 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 way to uh, to pass the boring time there. Yes, uh, especially those people, uh, those young those young people who come on uh, fully understand, understand why, why they have to stay they, they in the house all the time. time. So uh, yes, I think the media uh, uh, world will look a little bit different when there is uh, when there is a, a large scale outbreak, and it is important. Uh, to, yeah, uh, it, it maintains important to, uh, uh, to, to uh, as a source of information, but also for purposes where the media is used for now, and that is for distraction and having a, a, a relaxation. Yes. Okay, uh, well, how we, we focused on, on China because it has happened there before and because of the uh, uh, migration pattern of birds, the chance of it recurring there is bigger than, than in a lot of other places. Um, but we should stress that there is no reason to panic at stage. No, absolutely not. There's uh, just uh, when there's a bird falling out of the sky who died on avian influenza, there's a bird who died fall out of the sky who died on influenza, that's not a pandemic. Even if there are two people uh, infected, that's not a reason to uh, for for any panic. But it is uh, a reason to to be on alert, and it is a reason to really think things through. What will I do uh, in case that I have to, uh, to, to go home? Do I have, uh, how do I get a ticket? Do I have the money? Uh, do I have things in place? Uh, where should I go to? Uh, things like that. Uh, that are, that's important to think now because if it would happen, and uh, it can happen overnight, uh, it's it's an unusual situation, so uh, then you have to be prepared. And uh, what what uh, counts for individuals also counts for larger companies. And um, for instance, it would be good to uh, to know what the impact of financial impact will be 
is uh, the shop of Goro's uh, own uh, in, in China. China. Uh, the money in China, China, China is uh, going to slow down because uh, lack of customers or the lack of uh, ability, for instance, to uh, mobilize the goods, so the logistics that will heavily uh, uh, be affected uh, by, uh, by, by something like this. And that, that's something that you can consider in advance, better to now, now uh, than to, uh, to find out later. Yeah, yeah, well, well still remember, remember the SARS, SARS uh, thing, thing that was really the <laughs> shocking experience for the people who went through it. So, so, so uh, thank, thank you very much, much for uh, uh, I, I know, know the, the we only have half an hour, hour and it's not, not enough to uh, to really uh, go over a lot of industries. But uh, but we will keep an, uh, a finger on the pulse uh, and, and and see what uh, what's happening in the the, com the months to come, and we. Uh, Minds are up if, if needed, if we get questions to uh, give advice on specific industries. Thank you very much, Tom. You're welcome.